Welcome to another session of My Drama Pages. My name is Sandhya, ready with a new topic. And today, our lesson is about informal RSVP reply. Do you remember? In our earlier classes, we have already learned how to write a formal RSVP reply. And today in our class, we are going to learn in detail how to write an informal RSVP reply. And let's get started with the features required for writing an informal RSVP reply. Exactly, it is the same as the formal one, but there will be a small difference. Acknowledge the invitation that you have already received and you are going to express your thanks in first person. Do you remember in which person we have expressed our thanks in the formal RSVP reply? That was in third person. But here, as it is an informal piece, you have to write, I mean you have to extend or express your thanks in first person. First person, you know, you have to use either I or we. And the third point is convey your best wishes uh, about the function, about the occasion and mention either acceptance or your regret. Suppose if you are unable to attend the party or the celebrations, you do have to mention the reason for the refusal. And coming to the next point, it's very short and you need to stick to the word limit of 50 words and your tone should be very warm and your language should be very simple these are all the features that are required to write an informal rsvp reply but the format will be totally different from the formal one coming to this one it it takes the style of a letter and the first thing you need to remember is the invitees address first you need to start with the address of the invitee next the date on which you are writing the letter i mean the reply and you need to write the salutation salutation can be dear sir or dear you can mention the names of the people name of the person and comes the body in body when i take an example i'll clearly explain you what to be mentioned and you need to close the reply with a complimentary close with warm regards or best wishes and you need to write the subscription how you're writing for an informal letter like yours lovingly or ever yours okay with love such kind of subscription has to be mentioned and you need to mention the name of the sender and you need to close the box the only difference between the letter and this one is you're putting this in a box and you're maintaining or sticking to the word limit of 50. When it comes to the informal letter, you no need to, uh, I mean, stick to the word limit. You can write a lengthy one in paragraphs. Here, the body consists of a single paragraph where you need, you shouldn't exceed the word limit. Now, let's get started with a, a, a with an invitation and for that, how to write an RSVP reply. To write an informal RSVP reply, you need an occasion. In the examination, you won't be getting a letter or, or an invitation card. You will get a small, I mean, two to three lined sentences, I mean the paragraph, where you will be uh, giving the complete uh, information about on which you're going to write the informal piece of RSVP reply. So for your better understanding, I have taken, uh, I mean, invitation in the form of a letter. In my previous class, you might have observed, I have taken an invitation in a card style, that, that too I've taken a formal invitation and I ask you people to write a formal uh, RSVP reply. So here, uh, in order to write an informal RSVP reply, I have taken an invitation in the form of a letter. So it's not a hard and fast rule that you have to take only in the form of a letter. You can take even a card. Even in the previous one, what I have taken is a formal one. Even you can, for the same invitation, you can write even the informal uh, RSVP reply. But when you are writing an informal RSVP reply, make sure that the format is totally different. So here, I have taken a letter style. See? This is from Mr. Seshadar Reddy. Seshadar Reddy, Principal, Vidya Nilaya High School, Hyderabad. This is the sender's, sender's address. And here I have taken the date. And this is to whom you are writing. This is the receiver's address. You can take it as two address. 
here my point is not to explain you the letter with this letter i will uh, tell you the format of the informal uh, invitation i mean sorry uh, rsvp reply so here comes a salutation and here is the subject invitation for the annual day function regarding now this is the matter let us read the matter it gives us immense pleasure to inform you that we are celebrating a school annual day function on 13th december 2017 at 5:30 pm in lalita kala toranam we shall consider it a great honor if you could grace the occasion as a chief guest preside over the function and give away the prizes so this is an invitation which is being sent to an individual this is not for a group this is for an individual so only to this person this is being sent that is raghuram choudhury and now here comes a subscription and signature of mr sashidhar reddy and based upon this invitation card now on behalf of raghuram choudhury we are going to write the rsvp reply in the informal style following all the features that i have already explained to you here is the informal rsvp reply for the invitation that you have received now you are raghuram choudhury on behalf of him we are writing an rsvp reply so i have already mentioned you that it takes a uh, letter format so here i have taken the name of the person once again sashidhar reddy principal vidyalaya high school hyderabad this is the name of the invite that is the invitees address and 7 december 2017 actually he has written a letter invitation letter on 3 december inviting him for the occasion for the celebration on 13 december so he has uh, i mean uh, on behalf of uh, this uh, raghuram reddy we started writing the letter on 7 december this comes the date part so invite is address is done date is done now here comes the salutation as he is the principal we have written the salutation as dear sir or else you can simply mention sir or respected sir the better option is sir or dear sir and coming to the body i told you that this is the body this is the body part so this body part should be written only in a single paragraph and you need to stick to the word limit of 50 now i started with i i is the first person do you remember what we have written in the formal rsvp reply we started with the names of the people that we have taken the third person instead of writing uh, raghuram choudhury feels honored for being invited so we have started with the first person i suppose if you have written to a group of people you have to take v okay so i feel honored for being invited to attend your 13th annual day celebrations as a chief guest so these two lines talk about the acknowledgement of the invitation letter they have i mean he has received this is the acknowledgement till here and i will join the celebrations at lalita kala torna on 13 december 2017 by 5:30 pm this is the acceptance if you are not able to attend the function you have to write in first person only uh, and you have to mention even the reason here i am not mentioning any reason because he is accepting the invitation that's why we haven't taken any reason and that's all simply we have closed we have acknowledged we have used very simple very simple language without much of diction and we have written the acceptance here and this body is done and coming to this with best wishes is the complimentary close complimentary close and your sincerely so this your sincerely is a subscription part subscription part and here raghuram choudhury is the name of the person the one who is writing the informal rsvp reply suppose if the name is not mentioned in the question paper you have to take only xxx and this is all about after the completion of this one finally i have forgot it you have to close the box and uh, this is all about informal rsvp reply so 
uh, it, it, I told you already, no need to have only the uh, letter style of uh, invitation to write this one. Even the card styles, formal invitation card or the informal invitation card can be written uh, in two styles. That is formal RSVP reply as well as informal RSVP reply. So when you are writing formal, make sure that your uh, person is the third person. And here this is the first person in the informal piece. So this is all about the informal RSVP reply. If the class is interesting to you, please like, share, comment and please do not forget to subscribe to my channel, my drama pages. Uh, very soon, I'm going to come back in front of you with a new topic. Till then, bye bye. Thank you for watching this video.